and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Mutt 10 Years promo. So, it officially drops today at 4 o'clock. But based on the stream and what I learned, I pretty much have a consensus, like, idea of what is the basis for this. So, it reminds me of, like, any similar promo they did in years past where every week there's new ones and it comes all to into fruition towards the end, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. I'll go into depth as the video goes on. But there will be a brand new limited time player today. There will be 10 more for the next 10 weeks, releasing every Friday, as it seems like today. I'll go all into that after this. So, guys, if you're new to the channel... Make sure to go down below, smack the sub button, or grind to 7k, and so on and so forth so we can get to that 10k subscriber special. Also, comment down below what you guys think of this promo, and if you guys watched the stream, let me know if you guys heard anything that I didn't hear. Also, turn the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And let's get this video to 150 likes. Do you guys handle that? I think you can. So, 10 years of mud. So, pretty much this is replacing the Legend Limited Time. So, you know, every Saturday there's two Legends, one Limited Time Legend. Pretty much the Limited Time Legend is going to be released on Fridays, not Saturdays. So it's going to be separated now. But this Limited Time Legend is going to be branded as a 10-year of Mutt card. So today they said it's going to be a wide receiver. It's a Limited Time Legend. I think it's got to be Randy Moss. It's got to be Randy Moss. I can't really see it being anyone other than Randy Moss. Now, if it is Randy Moss, that means they're going to be dropping high-profile legends in this. So I have, a I have a bunch of predictions that I'm going to show you guys in this video. But also, there's going to be a string of solo challenges, which is pretty cool. So... Pretty much, if you guys have played any other match, you know that every year they release some solo challenges like Team of the Week where you have to play all 16 at the end of it, you get one big one. So this one's 10 weeks, 10 weeks. So if you play all 10 weeks, you have to play every one. There's no makeups this time. You have to play every single one. So don't forget to do that. You play every single one. I believe you get their power-up card and you get a nat version. So at the end of 10 weeks, you get a fantasy pack of 10 players. Every player that was dropped, limited time, you get to pick one. And if I heard correctly, you get to pick a power-up too. You get their power-up. If I heard correctly, I could be wrong. Now, it's pretty cool. Let's say they drop Randy Moss and a bunch of other legends. You could literally pick Randy Moss for free. Now, my one concern I was having while thinking about this was in 10 weeks, Randy Moss won't be as valuable anymore. But then again, if they drop him every week, the, pro the overalls have to go up. So in theory, by the end of the 10 weeks, what if Randy Moss is like a 91? And then said 10th legend is a 94. Let's just say. Or 93. So that's my concern is like, is that going to be fair to the guys that were just dropped? Then again, Randy Moss is usable all year. So maybe you're like, okay, I'd rather have this guy now because I can use him all year than the 94 overall lineman that was just dropped. It all, it all varies. It all depends based on how you look at it. But I think that's really cool that we got one free limited time player in 10 weeks. So make sure you play your solos. Do not miss out on that. Second, they said they're going to be dropping like a few. I, they kind of went over the positions. I have them all set on my head. I'll go over there in a second of what they'll be dropping. I'll give you guys my predictions, why I think of them. And there's also a wild card on top of that. So like a wild card could be any position. Now, for that, I'm not entirely sure. I think I did two halfbacks, because there is a halfback that I really want to see in this game that I'll tell you why I think when he comes into this game might be the most overpowered back in the game. But as a whole, this promo is looking really cool. Drops today at 4 p.m., so stay tuned for that. I'll make a video as soon as that drops, going over what it is and how much things are going for and what to look out for. And once the solos drop, make sure to play those. Weekend League also dropped today, guys, so get on top of that. Now, I hope this is as good as it sounds. I have a few ideas. I hope it's these legends. I really do, but... What, what upsets me about this so far is that these legends are supposed to be limited time. So, like, if let's say there's, like, a Dion or a Moss, if they're limited time, they're going to be really hard for people to get. Because this year, you can't power pass or training. So, technically, if, if Deion Sanders goes for 800k limited time, you have to pay 800k for Deion Sanders. There's no way around that. So, it kind of, it's kind of annoying if they make them all limited time now. I'm not really the biggest fan of how they're doing this right now, if this is how it's going to happen. I mean, you get you get, you get get one nap to choose. So, obviously, you, gotta, you better make it worthwhile if you're going to pick it. But it's really annoying that, like, it's going to be hard to get the top players this year. Like, even players like me who have coins are going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get them for me, too. So I can only imagine no money spent, guys. All right, let's head on over to Mudhead real quick. So right over here, as you guys see, I was making my list. So starting with this guy right here, they said they are going to release a halfback. Barry Sanders right here. Obviously not the Ultimate Legend one. It was the Legend one, but it wasn't letting me click on him for some reason. But oh, this one's insanely fast. Okay, this wouldn't be the stats you guys would see. But as you guys can see, Barry Sanders is a halfback that they always drop around this time of the year. So I could imagine they're probably dropping his base legend. Not today. I think today is going to be the Randy Moss, which as I'll type in here for you guys right here. You guys can have an idea. Randy Moss's base legend card is, I believe, right here. So this is what I believe will be dropped. Someone similar to this. 
with 90 speed, great catching, good route running, six foot four, something around this basis is what I think they'll be dropping today. I can't imagine any other wide receiver unless they drop like a Brian Finner in or like some weird receiver that we weren't expecting. But this seems like about right is what we could be seeing today. And like I said, Barry Sanders, again, another guy that usually comes. I, I've been waiting for a Barry Sanders. The second Barry Sanders comes out, Marcus Allen is so gone. It's, it's actually not even funny. Marcus Allen will be out of my team. I'm so high. Once Barry Sanders come out, he might be my end, year, end game running back. Now, I think he'll be the guy for running back. Randy Moss will be the receiver. For cornerback, it's got to be Deion Sanders. I am so high for a Deion Sanders. I've been waiting for this all year. I say all year like it's only, it's only been a month. But I've been waiting for this. I cannot wait to have a Dion on my team. Dion with Ramsey and Gilmore going to be locked down. I'm going to need no other like Dion's endgame card. So obviously he stays on your team the whole year. He'll probably be similar again. Really fast. Good zone. Good man. Can't tackle. Can't engage. But good everything else. Can't really complain about him. Now at the free safety spot, I imagine it'll be Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor always gets one of those base legends too. And we desperately need a free safety. Like desperately need a free safety in this game. Free safeties are disgusting right now in this game, and not in a good way. So if it was Sean Taylor, again, probably would have medium speed, like 85, 86. He's never the fastest, but he will have good zone, amazing hit power, good pursuit, good block shedding. He's practically like a linebacker with the safety's body. So everything about him is pretty awesome. Now, a guy that I really want to see is Ray Lewis, although I don't know if I'd be able to use him right away because I have Shazier, and I don't really want to buy a limited time linebacker for backup. This is obviously a 95 because Ray Lewis is released much later in the year, but... If it was Ray Lewis, he'd probably have like an 84 speed. He'd probably have a 90 hit power, 90 block. These will all be like step base 90s. And then his speed would probably be like an 84, 83. With his awareness being a 90 and that being a 90. A lot of these will come down to 90s. But for the end of zone, probably like a 79, 80. But that'd still be an awesome card to start with. I would not mind a 90 Ray Lewis, even as a backup if I could afford him. For 10 in, I was between Tony G and Shannon Sharp. But I'm gonna go Shannon Sharp. I feel like he has a good chance to get one. I always love Shannon Sharp too. He'd be he'd be the only thing that competes with Kittle all year. He'd have a, he'd probably have he's 95 here, so he his other card probably have like an 84 speed. These would probably all be like 85s. That would be an 84. His catching stats probably like all 88s across the board. His run block is always pretty good too, so I'm pretty hyped about that. Good trucking, probably have like an 86 trucking, and then he has a good stiff arm. If he could get armbar at tight end, like I doubt I don't think you can, but imagine armbar at tight end, that'd be crazy. I've been saying if they dropped the Peyton Hill as fullback, I would put him at tight end and put armbar on him in a heartbeat. Next on the list is best quarterback in the game every year, Michael Vick. Michael Vick time's coming soon. Michael Vick with a skate bar is going to be the glitchiest thing in the game. So you can assure, I can assure you that when Michael Vick comes out, he's on my team. When Barry Sanders comes out, he's on my team. There's, my, there's only one card that might actually stop my, my want for Barry Sanders, and you'll see that in a second. But Michael Vick, if he, they drop a base card of him, he'll probably have like an 88 speed. All these stats will be similar because we're around the 91 range already. He'll be have all these stats pretty much. And with the skate bars, this card's going to be literally broken. I'm, not, I'm like scared to actually have one of these. It's going to be unreal how crazy this card's going to be. Good throwing stats. Like, I don't even mind if his medium accuracy is bad because apparently skate artist is so broken. Like, it doesn't even matter. Now, there's one card that I'm going to call the wild card for now. That they actually could drop over even Barry Sanders. Ladanian Tomlinson. This might be the one card that is better than Barry Sanders. So, typically, he'll be close in speed to Barry Sanders. He'll have better power than Barry Sanders, but what's cool about him is he's gonna have a he's gonna have a high stiff arm. So Ladanian Tomlinson fast with arm bar might compete for Barry Sanders, but Barry Sanders with evasive might just be glitchy. I don't know. It all depends on what abilities they get. But if Ladanian Tomlinson gets arm bar and like jukebox, he might be the best running back in the game by far. But again, Barry Sanders same thing. If he can get evasive and something else, maybe he'll be the best, like pin and pull guru or something else. But as a whole. Ladainian Thompson is the only one that comes close to competing with Barry as end-year running back this year, in my opinion. Unless there's like a really insane Saquon that comes out, but I am excited to see Ladainian Thompson. I have not used armbar this year, so I really want to see it. Now, for the lineman, I'm going to be going with Steve Hutchinson. I'm probably missing some positions because obviously I didn't hear the whole thing, but I'm just giving you guys an idea of what you could be seeing. Steve Hutchinson, he's going to have insane run blocking, insane pass blocking, insane impact blocking, insane lead blocking. He's a beast as a whole. I imagine we see him because we're either him or Munoz because we already have Diodorf, we already have Larry Allen. It'd be around time for Steve Hutchinson or Munoz. And now, as far as quarterbacks said Vic, I mean, there could be a, no, Dan Marino, maybe, Donovan McNabb, Randall Cunningham, a few little notable mentions. Again, at um, wide receiver, there's Moss, obviously. That's about it. I mean, there's never really other, I mean, there's uh, Keyshawn Johnson, but I think they'll probably just drop Moss, and that's it. There's Tony Gonzalez for tight end. It all depends. I mean, for strong safety, they do have Brian Dawkins. 
We got Reggie White already, Strahan, Lawrence Taylor. I can't see many other cards besides the. I know, I know some of these have to hit. Some of these are definitely going to hit, guys. But let's head on over back to our main. And here we are. So, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This actually cleared out about perfect timing. I mean, we got through that pretty quickly. Now, you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel a lot. So, if you are viewing, just drop a like. Won't hurt you. Also, make sure to drop a sub down below if you did enjoy the video. And also, guys. Comment down below what you thought of all these legends. I'm actually hyped for this promo. I just wish it wasn't stretched out so much because, like, I really wish we could have got the Nat Carlic within the month so it'd be useful. We won't be seeing that till what's 10 weeks from now? Well, we're, in, we're in August, so end of September, end of October. We're going to be getting, like, by Thanksgiving. That's kind of annoying. So, like, right when the Thanksgiving promo drops, that's when we're going to get our free card, which I guess is whatever. But we'll already be through Halloween promo and we'll be going to Thanksgiving promo. But it is what it is, guys. And if you haven't already, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And. That is it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.